Have you been looking for a very frustrating deck to play against? One that will get your opponent to concede quickly, or maybe you can get them to uninstall the game altogether? Well, today I have this annoying Aerodactyl V-Star deck that tries to use Aerodactyl's powerful Ancient Star V-Star power to shut down decks like Mute and Lugia. And you may be asking, how am I going to beat Lugia if they go first? They just get their Archaeops down before they can uh, use an Ancient Star. So what we're going to try to do to counteract that is use Spirit Tomb, which Ghostly Cry's attack lets us shuffle their, their Pokemon and Discord pile back into the, their deck. So we're going to, if we go second, play a Judge plus Path to the Peak, and then use Spirit Tomb to shuffle those Archaeopsis back into their, their deck. And then they're going to have to find a, a lot more cards, like let's get both of them into the discard pile again, find a Stadium Bump, and a League UV Star just to a, a attack. So hopefully with just four cards off that Judge, that they, they cannot find those things, and then we can just swoop in with that Ancient Star and shut them down. We also have annoying cards for our opponents to deal with, like Crushing Hammer, Path of the Peak, and uh, Heavy Judge and Marnie. I am messing around with, with my one memory capsule because we can copy um, Aerodactyl V's Boulder Crush attack for a little extra energy disruption. Uh, Stone Energy is pretty nice in this deck because it makes our Aerodactyls last out a little bit longer. So I'm going to have several battles after this. There were, were some pretty f funny moments, so uh, stay tuned for those. And if you have any other decks you'd like me to play, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And now, please enjoy the battles. Alright, we're getting into our first game here, going for us, which is excellent. This deck. He's a deck that's sort of susceptible if it goes second to just its strategy completely falling apart. So it's always nice to go first, and our hand is quite good. So we did uh, we did Mulligan, which is going to be expected because we're not playing too many basic Pokemon. Shut out our Calyrex is going to be a very interesting matchup because we can Ancient Star and shut off that um, Underworld Door ability. But if they can just build up um, primarily. Attaching, we're not going to be able to one shot, so we could be in for a rough time. So, we did get an Aerodactyl V and attachment on it. Um, and the, our opponent is going to have a couple of Shadow Riders down uh, right off the bat. They have quite a sizable hand because we mulliganed a couple times, so definitely not great for us. They mentioned Articuno, which is sort of interesting. They have one attachment and a research. I don't know why they didn't just manually attach. Shadow Mist would be very bad for us, too, because we play basically only special energies. So I know it's not going to do very much damage, but it can make it very hard for us to attack. Definitely buy them quite a bit of, of time. So they attach to the bench. Oh no, is this going to be a Shadow Mist? Pukumukus this looks like very similar to um, Tord's Shadow Rider list, which I did um, upload on Sunday. It was it's a, a very good deck. I feel like it's one of the most underrated decks in format. You don't see very many people playing it very often, but I do think it has some merit. It doesn't have... The greatest league game matchup, which sort of gate keeps it, I think, from being a, a true uh, contender. But other than that, I think it has um, one of the better matchup spreads. So mine is going to play an Ultra Ball um, for Radiant Eternatus, so no Shadow Mist, hopefully. Uh, right, that's a sigh of relief for sure. So we can uh, get to that Ancient Star for sure. And oh, it's hot, it's like energy is quite nice. Crushing Hammer does not hit. So I'm going to. Ultra Ball out, Quick Ball in net, and find my Aerodactyl V-Star. And then we're going to uh, Mysterious Tail for a switch. I probably should have played Energy Lotto before Tooth and Out. That was a slight error on my part. So then we're just going to Ancient Star, and that will shut down uh, all my opponent's uh, V and uh, V-Max abilities. So that's awesome. Now they're going to be stuck doing manual attachments, and now Shadow Mist cannot buy them any time. We're not going to be able to uh, one-shot, so we kind of have to be careful with uh, drawing cards, because we're doing 190 a turn with Lost Dive, and we're going to have to Lost Zone 3 every single time. So we can't just go um, super aggressive through our deck and then end up uh, running out of cards before we can take six prizes. So our opponent will play a Quick Ball. The, the, the Marnie is nice for us, but we did not draw very well off of it. We like to set up a backup. Aerodactyl because one thing about the, the Ancient Star is it leaves if that Aerodactyl goes down So we, we prefer to attack with a different Aerodactyl and keep this one on the bench and use this one for later But don't always have that luxury in that so I'm going to shoo out that a double turbo I'm not going to judge just yet because my opponent didn't do a whole ton off of that Marnie and I don't need to unnecessarily draw cards Judge can be a nice thing to put cards back into my deck. And unfortunately, since we're playing a thin Aerodactyl line, we use it sometimes to be careful of lossing them. So you could definitely thicken that Aerodactyl line up to 4-4, four, four, but then, of course, your odds are worse of starting Mew. So it's kind of a give and take. Someone is going to play an Ultra Ball, but they don't... Uh, Crobat and Luminium will not work because of Ancient Star. 
Um, Underworld door will not work. And they already discarded one Calyrex V Max, so. Already, Sh Cheryl might be a pretty good card for them. We at least I could buy them one turn of time, which would be pretty bad for us, considering that we're lost hitting threes. We have to be careful. They grab that weird deer in that frontier road, but he's not going to work. And do they maybe I thin it for a research or do they just not have anything? Have we sufficiently jammed them with that ancient star? Uh doesn't look like they have anything. They're trying to go to the Articuno and pass. So I'm going to quick ball out this path to the peak. Path to the peak is a bit redundant with Aerodactyl's ability. It's just there to hopefully slow down our opponent before we get Ancient Star as like sort of our um uh, uh, if all else fails in in that Lugia matchup, if we don't get to go first, or um, or we just have a slow start, hopefully it can buy us a little time so we can still get that ancient star off to shut our opponent down. But it could definitely be an, a necessary card. I just want to have some sort of fighting chance if I go second into Lugia. But this could just be a, a deck where I'm just like I'm gonna play ladder. If I go first, I'm going to play out this game. If I go second, I'm just gonna instantly scoop. Which does like I. I Climbed quite a few ladder points with this deck. I, I think, like, this, while this might not be the most tournament com competitive deck ever, this is definitely a very fun and effective ladder deck. Like, you can, I think, like a four game win streak in less than 20 minutes. So, that's um, pretty awesome. So, I'm almost done with the versus ladders. Hopefully, we can finish it on uh, my uncut gameplay video coming out this Saturday. I'll be pr premiering, as always, at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, we're just going to punish with. A lost dive. I should have evolved the other Aerodactyl V. Don't know why I did that, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think my opponent probably should have stayed with that Calyrex V and tried to get it to tank it a hit and then um, just like try to deck me out because I think it's going to be hard for them to actually uh, win this game about taking six prizes. Like, I think their they're, they're one condition is trying to deck me out, so. My opponent will be able to attack with a Max Geist this turn, which not good at all for us. There is a Palpad, back on Cheryl and Marnie, but I don't think my opponent has any sort of uh, draw power that um, Ancient, Ancient Star is just really um, sh shutting them down. Like decks like the Shadow Rider that depend on their ability to draw cards, and then they can't do that. Really messes up their game plan. So I'm going to switch into this other Aerodactyl to deny the prize, and I'm just going to Lost Dive and Punch for 190. And now I have boss in hand to win the game. It, even my opponent with Cheryl, they'll be stuck. So we should have this one ancient star, which is simply uh, t too much disruption for them to overcome. And lost dive does a respectable amount of damage. So we're going to take this one. It appears doesn't look like my opponent has anything. And yes, there's a concession. So now on to our next game. I'm against last name fan. And what's funny is when I was re recording this game, this is the third game that I recorded. And the first time, the first game I played was against Last Name Fan, and it was we were both playing these same decks, and uh, I went first that game, so I just um, of course won, and but that, it wasn't a very good game, so I didn't want to include two games against the same person in the same video, so instead we'll be going with this game, which in my opinion was the much better game. So uh, I'll do a very weak start for my opponent, though no Archaeops into the discard pile, so I'm going to grab. That Mew as a, a as a pivot, I'll switch back into that Mew and then Judge. Uh, Path of the Peak going on a nice find, but did not find it yet. I might be going for a Crobat though to dig a little deeper. Crushing Hammer is actually pr pretty good for us. Hits heads, which um, is of course awesome. I'm not going to dig any deeper with Crobat. Um, I, I definitely could have, but I don't have a card I want to discard off this Quake Ball. I, I could have maybe a quick ball out the crushing and then crow batted it for three, but didn't seem worth that. I'd rather um, start fl flipping coins. So uh, there's a capture or an Oran Guru. So if my opponent does not find, oh, just a read the win. So no Arky upside. Judge put him uh, put him in a, a bad spot. So we can get to that ancient star this game, and I uh, should shut them down before they can get any Arky ups going. So grab the Aerodactyl V with the Aerodactyl V attached to double turbo now. The Mew and I'm on a quick ball. Um, actually, no. I can I can hold out in Crobat next turn. I don't need to bench it now because I could top deck a supporter, and then I wouldn't have wanted to bench that Crobat in the first place. So we weren't going to be using a lost dive. So I 
the play that I made was fine, but my opponent is playing that Flying Pikachu build that um, I, I feel like really started being played online. Then we it finally saw a little success in that uh, Noxville Regional Championship. And that's definitely uh, worse for us because that Flying Pikachu can start swinging for those two energy attachments, oh, an Aurora and a Double Turbo. So that's not ideal, but I think we can still manage. We just need a uh, uh, Crushing Hammer, obviously, be, be nice uh, Boulder Crush to Discord Energies if we can find our one of Memory Capsule. So I'll go for a shoe. I'll drop that um, Parasol. Oh, yeah, we already have the capsule on the active, so I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to pass. Didn't find anything. I didn't find a Stone Energy to uh, get moving. So my opponent is um, able to at least um, have a little time before I start attacking them, which I I didn't want. I, I want to start uh, swinging turn two, but or turn three after we Ancient Star, but we did not find the necessary energies. So. There's an Ultra Ball, a Drapion. They, let's get that Flying Pikachu VMAX. And they have a research, so they we judge them into a very great hand. So they can actually, no, they can't attack us this turn, but perhaps next turn. Ooh, even Lugia can start attacking, which would not be good. So we'll uh, pass from my opponent. I'm going to Ultra Ball thin out these two fools and then grab Aerodactyl. I will then just judge it back into the deck. I probably could have benched it if I wanted to, but I had to be careful with um, Lost Setting stuff. I'm just going to go for the um, Lost Dive because I, I could use Boulder Crush, but it would not be uh, su sufficient for a two shot. So it would, I guess I would just discard energy, but it wouldn't really do that much. Even if my opponent finds a double turbo, I, I would just rather take the two shot and take all these energies out of play than just like Boulder Crush for... What would that have been? It would have been minus 80, so there's 40 damage, and they still would have time to just attach again. And I should be using Boulder Crush over and over again. And I can't just afford to really sit around for a while and let my deck size uh, dwindle. I just want to start taking these knockouts. So Crushing Hammer, Tails, unfortunately. So now I'm sort of susceptible to my opponent just having double turbo and knocking out this Aerodactyl. So maybe could have gone for the Boulder Crush play now that I think about it, but... I just, I yeah, I, I can't afford to just sit around and, I mean, I, I can draw over a lot of cards and then judge them back into the deck, so maybe I was wrong. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get punished, though, if they have a double turbo. This game will probably be over. So, let's use a permanent wisdom. Okay, just an Aurora energy. I researched. So, they're not going to gamble. They maybe could have gambled and found that double turbo. Which would have been pretty disastrous. I, yeah, I think we definitely lose if th they find a double turbo, but uh, we're still alive. So they're going to finally get some Archeops into the discard pile. Uh, 40 turns later, it seems. So we need this shoe to really be kind to us. Stone Energy is a decent find. Because then we just... Ooh, I don't think I don't agree with this looking back. I probably should just retreated and lost dive to force them to have attach and boss. But I mean, force them to have one of their double turbos, which they did not have. So that I did luck out. I definitely uh, taking a chance, which I don't think was probably the right call. I mean, my opponent's hand was quite big, so they could have had just gust uh, attachment. So maybe maybe I wasn't wrong. Maybe I'm just being overcritical of myself, but. I think I, I'm taking a lot of necessary risks this game, so I'm probably going to retreat into that Warring Guru. Unfortunately, we don't have any any bosses. There's an, another Ultra Ball. So I'm thinning out uh, those useless cards. Haven't lost them to any boss's orders. And I'll attach the active and retreat and force him to have Gust attached in that four card hand. Lost Dive for the knockout to get just a little bit closer. Of course, boss is our next card. Oh, but there's a boss too. All right. Giovanni is showing up now. So does my opponent have Gust? That would be disastrous. There's an attachment. Oh no! Then Max Bloom for the knockout. Oh, uh, alright. We still have a chance, I think, because of the way the board played out. We actually need to take out this Flying Pikachu to win. So we're in a Lost Dive. And our opponent discarded Aerodactyl and we have Parasol on anyway. And since, because of that Stone Energy, our opponent uh, needs to do 280 to knock us out, and with already being down one powerful energy, they would need three powerfuls. Or they have two powerful. Oh, and only one Archeops. They didn't have a second Archeops. So yeah, that seals 
video as long as they do not have a Marnie to disrupt this hand. We can uh, gust down this Pikachu win the game next turn. So this is a very weird game and I was really happy to show this one off. They quick quick ball out the boss because it shows like how unorthodox your games are going to be with this deck that it's it's definitely it's something something different like th that ancient star really creates ugly games but you're not like just doing a ton of damage that like you're gonna run your opponent off the table after you um so yeah our opponent is going to tempest dive but we just have the gust to win and um, like i was saying Aer aerodactyl isn't going to just have the sheer damage to run your opponent off the table once you uh, ability lock them it does a respectable damage output but it's not like um anything super oppressive so it creates some interesting scenarios sometimes this hand's awesome but we're going second so that's always frightening we are getting mulligans um so rc's flying pikachu but uh, barrel so something like the world championship adp deck in 2023 man there's an ultra ball and marnie and lightning energy you have to imagine that's gonna find an rcs and they have an attachment hand so all right, crushing hammer, heads, nice, bench, attach. They already scooped, like I said, this deck makes your opponent r r rage quit. That wasn't even like ancient star, that was just crushing hammers, so. It has a lot of toxic cards, like this deck is just overall mean. So I'm gonna, Mysterious Tail, I'm gonna grab this other shoe. The reason I didn't quick ball immediately is because I wanted to, I mean, I probably should have just quick, quick ball immediately, let's be real, but I wanted to maybe find a discardable card, but, um, because I didn't really want to discard the Pet the Peak. I don't know, I probably should have just, okay, I'm scared, I've seen Mew though, I'm scared of being item locked, so I don't want to just leave, leave my hand uh, wide open to just like, my opponent gets turn one, uh, Paralyzing Bolt, and then I'm just like, ah, uh, dang it, I can't do anything. So now my hand is much improved we have the excuse me an aerodactyl and the energy here we found path to the peak so that was awesome we went through like all our shoes on the the first turn we have everything in hand now we don't necessarily need to ancient star against vika volt because their only ability that they're going to be using is like luminion crobats and maybe a fleet footed from ryko so nothing that's like going to drastically uh, change the complexion of the game but i was going to then tr tracking issues out of scoop of nets, uh, reading Greninja, Vika Volts. So getting their guys down, but do they have anything? Okay, so no item lock on the first turn. A judge is a bit unfortunate because our hand was loaded, but ugh, this is not good. We can see a tracking shoe out that L L Luminion. Battle VIP pass. So more, more Mew is likely going to come, come down. A Mew and a Zapdos. A net, so we're gonna see another mysterious tail. Uh, and the vacuums, and no attachment yet. And we, wow, no attachment, that's awesome. So I'm going to quick ball out Mew and thin the deck out and grab this other Aerodactyl. Mew, that finds Switch, which is not, I already used all my shoes, so like I couldn't really find much anyway. I was hoping to find an energy lotto, but we can still uh, boss up this Vika Volt. We know their hand's bad, so we can boss up Vika Volt use Ancient Star, so they can't use your Crobat. And then they also have to find a switching card to start using Mew's Mysterious Tail. And now we're both sort of in in, in top deck mode. So I'm gonna draw, draw pass. Um, did, did they top deck anything? They they find, found a speed, which, so they're going. They just pass. All right, I'm gonna put the Parasol on the Crobat and then Marnie. And we found the d double turbo, so we'll just take this lost dive knockout. A double turbo is before applying weakness and resistance, so I cannot go for a, a boulder crush. If it was after applying weakness and resistance, and it would be like 240 from boulder crush minus 20 to 220, then I obviously could. But yeah, the, they will concede after that lost dive. They are a bit too far behind. Um, and dealing with 260 HP uh, Aerodactyl would be um, a lot for a vehicle deck. So on to our next game, I'm going to be mulliganing. I'm going first against Mew Sleeve, so maybe this will mean a, a Mew VMAX deck. Um, no, against a Lost Zone Box deck. So this matchup is not very good. I'm going to Mysterious Tail before I Ultra Ball because I, um, I have everything I want to keep in my hand. I was just trying to find a disposable card. So um, Ultra Ball puts Aerodactyl, put on the Stone Energy, uh, put on the Parasol, and pass. I'm playing those d double Parasols. 
um, just for this Lost in Box matchup, because this matchup seems quite at atrocious, but um, the, the Parasols are there to try to prevent uh, Lost Mine spreadings. I don't actually know if that's, and also um, Yveltal too, but um, might not be the most v valuable cards. Could definitely be like a, a fourth Marnie, fourth Path to the Peak, things like that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to be able to protect from Lost Mine and things like that. But how I may, maybe more meaningful cards that you can add to the deck. Uh, so my opponent is setting up rather nicely. They have a chorus. They have quite a few flower selecting. So I'm just likely going to go down. I'd honestly prefer this me going down than them escape roping and punching into my Aerodactyl. Uh, Raihan going to loss and it, it is good for us. Psychic energy. So. Yeah, Dawn's gonna go this Mew, which is a Temple of Sinnoh is not good. Oh no! All right, we need this Judge to uh, bring us th the goods. So there's a Judge. Oof, that was not what we wanted. So we're done trekking shoes. I can't afford to grab Sun Energy, so we've did drawn to the Aerodactyl. So I will go for an Ancient Star. And let's just yeah, let's hope for the best. I didn't bring the other Aerodactyl V because. Off a, off a judge would be sort of a uh, large combo for my opponent to even be able to take this knockout. I didn't want to get like roped and then have something stuck in the active spot. Um, if I have an additional card I need to find. So we'll, uh, Crobat does bring us exactly what we need. We did find that path to the peak and then we'll just lost dive for the knockout. And our now all of a sudden, uh, my opponent who just uh, draw, uh, draw attacked um, it's sort of on the, the the back foot, which is kind of funny. Lost hitting an ordinary rod is great for us. Switch cards. My yeah, my opponent is desperate. Full desperation. Comfey here. There goes another Comfey. Do they have anything? Or is this is this just gonna be a uh, pass? Like they need. I mean, if, if they are playing Amazing Rayquaza or Zamazenta and can just respond knock at this Aerodactyl, I think we are probably in trouble. But yeah, they, they don't have it. So I'm going to Ultra Ball or Quick Ball and Ultra Ball and find another Aerodactyl. And considering how uh, desperate their board is, I'm not going to play this Marnie because I don't want to help them out. And I'm going to hold the Crushing Hammer as, as well. I don't, I mean, I, I could have played it and discard the energy off the Mew, but I'm going to try to um, I'm off the Mew, off the Comfey, but I'm going to hold it for maybe with potentially more value down the road. doesn't really impact their, their board state too much if I flip heads. They also know water and bench that Oranguru. So do they, do they find anything off that top deck or the flower selecting? Or is this going to be another pass? Maybe they'll be trying to... So there's a Raikou V, so they have something. Capture energy... Maybe I'll find another Comfey. Oh, I cram ran, so they are going to be attacking us this turn. Oh, a Mirage Gate. So the Raikou is going to attack, maybe, but it's currently ten short because of the Stone Energy, right? Yeah, it's it's because doing one sixty minus twenty down to one forty, so it'd be ten short. I wonder if my opponent sees that or just freaking completely. Uh, not accounting for that stone energy. Rather the Raikou, so I think they don't see it. Or maybe they show another Pokemon hand, and I'm just um. There's this guy Seal Stone. Oh no, Star, Star Order. Oh, but they're short. Lightning Rondo is gonna be ten short for, for the knockout. So that was not. Yeah, my opponent did not uh, take into account my stone energy. So yeah, I think we're gonna be able to win, win this game. And yeah, my opponent does see it and concede. So we're going first again. Which is awesome. Um, this hand, we need a quick ball off this Mew to really make this hand um, go from good to bad. Or from bad to good, I should say. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, so there we go. We found a quick ball. We, against RSU's deck, we will not need that Spirit Tomb. So, and I will grab Aerodactyl. And then I will attach a Stone Energy and pass. So I might be going for an Ancient Star next turn. I might be going for a, a Lost Dive, depending on what my opponent has going. Uh, no, so we're getting Marty, which is not ideal. We had that a double turbo in hand, and this hand is a lot worse, but we, we still could have the knockout, but 
incense for Duraludon V, so Arceus Duraludon, it, it appears then. There is an Ultra Ball. I have the Duraludon and a Grass Energy, so is this Ready Drago? Oh my goodness, ladder moment. They're, they're, they're on Trini Charge. I don't have that Ready Drago, so this is... I definitely prefer to use Ready Drago than Duraludon, because Duraludon, we'd have to use Ancient Star to make it so we could even hit them. So you get a Mew for the Tracking Shoes. Um, double Turbo Top Deck is excellent. I'm going to um, quick Ultra Ball out Lotto and Mew and grab an Aerodactyl V-Star. I'm going to attach Evolve Shoe. Uh, memory Capsule is pretty good. I'm going to hold on to it and attach it. I'm not going to bench the other Aerodactyl V because we don't have a switching card in hand. So my opponent could definitely buy some time with a boss Zorders. I'll take that knockout with the, the Lost Dive. Now our opponent is definitely in a poor position. Just a Dragon Laser. Wow. Even worse than I expected. So I'm going to bench Aerodactyl uh, V, just we don't lose next turn potentially because if they like hops like Ready Drago V Star, then we'd be in a pretty poor spot. But I'll then use that uh, Boulder Crush and discard that Fire Energy. And now they need to find it, they're probably in a very thin a line of Fire Energy and they don't even have anything. So they just quick ball for a Bidoof and pass. So I'm going to Ultra Ball for another Aerodactyl, <laughs> another Aerodactyl V Star, and then just um, Lost Dive for the knockout. And then take two prizes, and now I, this should just be the game. Our opponent doesn't really have much at all going. Uh, so yeah, just like a barrel, attach double turbo, and then uh, industry synthesizers for four. Lost city and pass. We will be able to take out take out this barrel and win the game with with lost dive. So, and that's another good game. So that's all I have for Aerodactyl V Star. Uh, definitely not a tournament winning deck or. Uh, even a top meta deck, but it's a very fun one and a very effective laddering deck. You can get a lot of quick scoops. Uh, Crobat V might not be necessary, as were those uh, big parasols. You could uh, consider adding a fourth Path to the Peak or a fourth Marnie. Um, I'm sorry about all my uh, stuttering and speaking incompetency. Like I'm trying to improve on it. So it's a problem I've had pretty much all, all my life. So like really, um, if, if you enjoy this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing and liking my channel and I really appreciate all you guys who watch to the end of all my all, all my videos um it really means so much to me that like th th there are people like despite all my uh I everything I don't have that I'm my, like my my setup's not very high budget I'm not I'm not a very good speaker that like maybe it's maybe it's my gameplay that p people like or maybe my my, my commentary is not as bad as I as I think it is but just really from from the bottom of my heart Thank you guys to like the the five percent of you that make it to the end of this video. I want to just give you a, a, a huge thank you. You guys are just um, absolute legends. And um, if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to build up this this channel into something where we can uh, just be a good source of uh, competitive Pokemon TCG knowledge as well as fun decks and just everything Pokemon TCG, TCG I, I want to have with, with this channel. Unfortunately, I don't have the the means to really make this super high quality right now, but by su supporting me, by liking and subscribing, hopefully one day we can build this up into uh, the best Pokemon TCG channel on YouTube. But I'm going to get out of here. Uh, s s stop rambling. So I, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in, in the next one.